This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. I'm shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Then cross out your eyes. Sway in the morning, say four five. The power playbook. Mm. <laughs> Rules for independence, money, and success. Yeah. By Lala Anthony. Hello, everybody. What's up? Yeah, what's up, La? What's up? We looking at you now differently. Why? Because I always looked at you as my little sister. <laughs> it's true. Because our, our history runs deep. But I'm still your little sister. Yeah, but I'm looking at something different about the you you and me, the two of us. <laughs> what is that? Our bank accounts. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, what is that? Our bank accounts. And that's why when I was reading through this book, I'm like, damn, I remember La first came to L.A. And right. Sleep, sleeping on floors or whatnot. No, seriously. Seriously, sleeping on. Serious. And you write about that in the book, right? Yes, definitely. I write about that. And before that, you know, interning with Luda down in Atlanta. I mean, we had no money. I remember we got an apartment and we had no beds or furniture. We were just sleeping on the floor. Wow. Like, we just really grinded it out. And I talk about that journey just to be an inspiration to people out there who feel like there's no hope. They can't be successful. They can't do it. So I talk about my experiences and how I went from nothing to where I'm at now. Yeah, and, 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 you're, and, and where you're continually to go. Yeah. You know, and yeah. one of the things that stood out in the book, because I always mark things when I hear a game, is... Mm -hmm. um, Something you said, okay, like you see, I got my little markers right here, La. I love that your markers are an S. Why do I love that? <laughs> yeah, this like is that. so cool. <laughs> like, I need that. Yeah, you need that? That's hot. <laughs> I, we often talk about this, Heather. Like mm -hmm. uh, my grandma used to say, if you hang around a bum, mm. eventually you become a bum. If you hang around millionaires, eventually you become a millionaire. Hang around nine broke friends, you're bound to be the temple. Okay. <laughs> and and if you hang around haters, you you know, they're going to hate on you too. Very true. And one of the chapters you said, you mentioned to detox your life. Yes. It's the power important. of elimination, people, thoughts, and things. And yes. And you, 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 you put an Oprah quote in there. You can't be friends with someone who wants your life. Yeah, it's very mm. true. You know, I was talking to a group yesterday. We had a, a huge uh people come out to my book signing yesterday and we had a Q&A first and I was talking to them and I was saying you know a lot of us don't realize that there are people in our lives that come with an expiration date. Mm -hmm. mm. Some people in our lives unfortunately have an expiration date. Everyone's not meant to be in your life forever. The key is to know when it's mm. time to cut them off because you know sometimes the most hate you get is from your inner circle, like where the support is supposed to come from. And you have to be mindful of that and go, you know, as I'm making this step to the next level, it's not that I change, mm -hmm. but it's that you're not ready to go with me to this next level. You holding me back. So your time is up. I appreciated the time we had, but now I got to move on. And, you know, I had to do that at various times in my life. And I'm not saying it like it's an easy thing to do. It's definitely a hard thing to do, yeah. but it's necessary to detox your life at different phases of, of your journey. But is that more of a challenge if it's a celebrity friend? Because then you feel pressure. You know that the blog loves taking pictures <laughs> of you guys together. You're going to be on red carpets. I guess it could be more of a challenge in that way, but there's a graceful way to anything. You know, you can wean people off slowly. <laughs> you don't have to just all of a sudden just not talk to them. It's it's a weaning process. So yeah, you always got to be mindful of that, but there there's a graceful way to do it. Okay. You, you talk about an incident where you had a girlfriend when you first started dating Carmelo, and I, I always loved him from the beginning. Mm -hmm. And um, um, and you had a girlfriend that was reporting to you everywhere he went. Yeah. You put this in the book, like, yo, girl, he at this party right now. I can see him over there right. in the VIP. God. And, right. um, and um, initially, though, I'm sure it raised doubt in your head. It, it did raise a lot of doubt, and it got to the point when I saw this person's name on my phone, I was nervous to answer because it was like, what's, what's, what is she going to say? Oh, he's here. Strippers are having a party. They, you know, every little thing, and I was I was like a nervous wreck, and I realized, you know, I have to have trust in the person I'm with. And not saying that your friends, your friends are supposed to look out for you, but there's a limit to it. I don't mm -hmm. need to know, just walked in, five people, now there's ten. Now, you know, I don't yeah. need to know every little thing because it was raising <laughs> doubt, and it was causing commotion in the relationship, and the relationship was still so new. So yeah. I didn't need that hecticness in the beginning of the relationship. Mm. Y'all your relationship to me has, I mean, no one's relationship is perfect, right. you know, but yeah. it's been, a, I, last time I saw you guys together was at this, my moment of stunning, Heather B, you were there with me, oh. um, the Michael Jordan, the Air Jordan Ow. brand, 30th anniversary, <laughs> that I was able to host, um, and I saw you and Melo, and I smile when I see you guys, you know, but as, you know, it's, all relationships have turbulence, ups and downs. Mm -hmm. What? When you guys face your turbulence, can can you recall a moment in your relationship where it's turbulent? 
that yeah. you had to work through. Can you give me an example of that? Yeah, of course. I mean, all relationships is ups and downs. You know, you love them one day, you want to kill them the next. That's a relationship, and you got to know it's not perfect. I always say people who say their relationships are perfect, they're lying. They're not yeah. being honest. It's not perfect. But the thing about me and Melo is because we started as friends, I always remember why he was my friend first. And I go back to the friendship mm -hmm. when the love is a little out of whack because, mm -hmm. you know, you do fall in and out of that crazy love at different times in a relationship. Mm -hmm. We've been together mm -hmm. for 11 years. Mm -hmm. You know, that happens. But I remember that he was my friend first and I loved the friendship we had first. And that's gotten us through, you know, some of our harder times. Some of your harder times happened, I'm, I'm sure, happened to be last season for the New York Knicks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know why he's doing so this? Yeah. Nah, let me let me be okay. real. Okay, what, 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 what? He's a warrior fan. A warrior? Come on, come on. You know I'm from Oakland. Yeah, Don't but even... I didn't I didn't know you love the warriors. No, that's new. Like to... nah, oh. I'm about to break. It's new. Oh, because, because they clearly because I never heard that before. Okay. No, just, I never so... I, ne I, I never okay, heard okay, you I'm, mention the warriors I, I ever. Scream, I'm, I'm, I'm Oakland all day, every day. You could be Oakland, but I never heard you talk about the warriors. Break it down. Tell them. So you have you on the bandwagon right now? You Puerto Rican? I never heard you talk about Cotto. Okay, <laughs> so so you want a bad wagon? He sucks. Okay. He sucks, lie every day. Every, every day. You, you know? on that? You on that? Uh, Steph Curry bad wagon? Hell right now? yeah! <laughs> Check his pee. And I earned it. But uh, when when he goes through, like, how do you? What what is your role in those situations? Because it's not just him losing it and the team losing. Yeah, yeah, you know it's difficult. But I always tell him, and this this I talk about in the book too. Certain things you have to leave at the workplace. I do understand it's stressful, but you can't come home to me and Cayenne with you know the attitude. That, it's not our fault. You know, we didn't do anything. We're here to support you, and we understand that it's difficult. But I love that Melo's always able to leave the game where it is. You know, if he loses a game, he'll come home and talk about it, but he's not coming home nasty attitude, not mm -hmm. wanting to talk to us. He's, he's never done that. So we always, you know, find the balance. I get that you're mad, but we didn't do it, so <laughs> why should we have to feel the wrath? So we found a good balance in that, but I definitely support him, and I'm hoping that the Knicks, you know, next season are going to come through with something bigger and better and greater. Well, I always say I'm not a Knicks fan. I'm a Melo fan. Do I you not do say, say do that. Do I not say you that? You do say that. Look, I'm looking at Heather like, can you confirm <laughs> that? <laughs> what, 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 did he, um, what did he bring home um, to you after he went to Ferguson? What was that moment like? Oh, Baltimore. I mean, Baltimore. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. He just brought back a lot of information about what was going on there. Mm -hmm. You know, you see it on TV, you see it on Instagram. It's nothing like being there. And I thought it was so important because he, t like you claim Oakland, you know, he's from Baltimore. Yeah. That's, that's where he's from. And it's one thing to just put a post about it and not get out there and really be in the trenches. So they peacefully protest down to uh, City Hall, which was amazing. Mm -hmm. And I was just so proud of him. So when he came back, it was just that feeling of like, I got out there, I felt like my voice was heard, and I felt like I really did something. So I was really, really proud of him. And the next day is when we heard, you know, the officers getting indicted and all of that stuff. So it was really powerful. What did, what did you tell your son in this time, though? I did, you know, it's so funny. I, I had a long talk with Cayenne mm -hmm. about and understanding because at eight years old, he was confused and was feeling like, you know, yeah. mom, uh, why are cops so bad? And I'm like, all cops aren't bad. You know, you have bad in everything, mm -hmm. but all cops aren't bad. And I gave him the example, you know, my cousin, my uncles are police officers, and I know for a fact they are some of the good ones. So I said, you know, you don't think Ryan and Theo are bad people. So I had to explain it to him because looking at on the media, he just felt like, Mom, all cops are bad. They just want to kill people, yeah. you know, and I had to explain that to him. So at eight years old, the conversation, you know, is different for an eight-year-old, but it's, it's fascinating to me how many questions they have at that age. Mm. I'll tell you, I can ask a lot of questions all day. I'm going to get to the money eventually. Um, we're going to open up the phone lines, 888-742-3345. You want to talk with Lala Anthony, call us. Yeah, man, think like a man, too. Uh, it's so funny. It took me a minute. I was like, what is this? And I was like, oh, think like a man, too. That is so funny. Your work. That was your work. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. As an actress. Yes, it was. Lala Anthony is here. The Power Playbook is her new book, Rules for Independence, Money, and Success. She already written a, a number one New York Times bestseller. So let's help her make this one a bestseller as well. People could get it now, right? Definitely. It came out yesterday. We had a huge book signing. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have another one Friday in Atlanta. I'm flying out to Atlanta. So Friday in Atlanta, Barnes & Nobles, we're going to have another one. Okay. I feel like the playbook can be like series and I remember the last time you were here when you did the love playbook mm -hmm. I was so happy every time I walked down the street and saw it in a bookstore window Thank right you. there I was like this is dope in hopes that 
maybe a film? Are you yeah. thinking in terms of that? It's one? happening. So I'm so excited about that. I partnered up with Queen Latifah on the Love Playbook. So we're oh, turning shoot. it into a movie. So I'm excited about that. The oh, script what? is being worked on right now. And um, hopefully, you know, we'll get into production within the year on the Love Playbook. La and la. Exactly. La, 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 la. It's funny. We always say that. Oh, really? I'm like, yo, that's crazy. You're la. I'm la. What up, la? What up, la? We always do that. That's like a joke between us. So, yeah, I'm definitely excited about that. that. Why are you looking at me like No, because I'm excited because I'm sure something's going to be written in that movie for me to play. Just if, even if it's a <laughs> quick camera. Of course, right. of course, of course. I know everybody Tell else Tell who you with. played in your last movie. Uh, which one? Oh, sorry. Mm. Um, did you know, you did Empire. Top five, who did you play? I played Sway. Yeah, Callaway. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Award winning character. Yeah. Um, Empire. <laughs> Award winning character. Sway Callaway. Uh, Stop the yard. Sway yeah. Callaway. Okay, you get the pattern, La. He's, he's helping you with the writing. Who, who, who. I get it. <laughs> La, La wh- wh- where do you uh, draw the line with acting? Because I know in power, everybody's talking about the. The, um, <laughs> the sex scene. The nudes. Yeah, the sex scene. scene. How, did, how did Carmelo deal with it? How did, well, what did he... he just said to me that he supports me as an actress because he knows that's what I'm doing now but he doesn't want to watch it which I totally understand like I'm not gonna look I told him about it I'm not gonna force him to watch it if he doesn't want to watch it I get it but what I do love is that he understands and respects that that's part of the craft it's a little unrealistic you're gonna be an actress and never have a love scene like that's Mm -hmm. a little crazy so it happens I'm kind of glad you know I I I got that one out yeah. and now I know what it's like, you know, for the next time if it has to happen again because it's intimidating and it's awkward and it's all of the things you would imagine it to be. Oh, okay. So when the <laughs> bodies are rubbing against each other. It's they, awkward. Yeah. Yeah. And people like feel like, you know, people who don't know feel like you're really in that moment. There's so many people in there that yelling cut every two seconds. You never get in like a groove with this person at mm-hmm. all. It's like, okay, put your hand there then move it here. But, you know, when you watch it, it looks like, you know, you were really in it, but it's different when you're filming it. It's interesting because in your book, you talked about changing your mindset and saying different things to yourself instead of I wish or I should have. Mm-hmm. Or you talked about um, how you wish you could be as good of an actress as Rosario Dawson. Right. And then you start changing your mindset. Right, right. What was that? What, 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 what was that change? Well, for me, I see. And, and I can admit this. Like, I always found that acting wasn't something that came natural to me. Mm-hmm. So I figured, OK, this is not coming natural to me. So what can I do? Oh, I know what I could do. I can learn how to do this. I can learn how to do this because I know I can learn things. I learn radio. I learn television. I can learn it. So then I just started taking acting class all the time. This Sunday, even now that, you know, I'm getting great acting jobs. I was in an acting workshop for six hours on Sunday. Six hours sitting in a workshop. People I didn't know literally sitting in the back of the class, taking notes, just taking it all in. So I talk about in the book, it's about putting the work in. You can't sit and say, I wish I should have. And you're watching the whole world go by and you're not doing anything about Mm. it. So I learned how to be an actress and now i'm seeing all those hours put in finally paying off with everything i'm doing i just got back from la i wrapped a movie with lorenz tate and lance Mm. gross which was really fun i I admired lorenz for many years you know i did that have another movie i'm about to work on another tv series that i just recently uh booked so it's happening now you know if you work hard it will happen it might not happen right away i've been going at the acting thing for a while now but it's happening now Damn, did you hear all those stunts right there? <laughs> oh, damn, I lost count. All right. All right, let me, let me take a couple uh, uh, calls. Brandon in Florida. Brandon, good morning. What up, How Brandon? You doing? Brandon. Hey, Brandon. Hey, good morning. How's it going? Going good. <laughs> um, I just have a really quick question for you, Lala. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, these last six, uh, yeah, like these last uh, six years, um, um, like I have been married to my wife and, uh, and for some reason, like, I just feel like that she's like very spiteful towards me. Um, and like, uh, like I just kind of don't know what to do. Like I'm, I'm thinking about calling it quits, but like, I'm trying to find a way like to try to like make it work. But like, I mean, for some reason, like, I think she's like very jealous of me, you know? And, uh, I mean, like at this point, you know, I just need some type of like advice or, you know, like something as far as like, you know, like what to do to, you know, like to try to fall back in love with her. Right. Well, I would definitely say, you know, 
a relationship isn't going to survive if one person is jealous of the other person. You're supposed to be working at a te- as a team and support each other. You know, it would never work if me and Mello were jealous of each other and, you know, I wanted what he had and vice versa. You know, you have to work as a team. But also, most women don't become spiteful for no reason. So you got to figure out what the source is, what got her to become spiteful in the first place. Was it something that you did? Was it a mistake that you made? And kind of go from there so definitely wish you the best but two people in a relationship and one person is jealous of another that's never gonna work all right hey man thanks for your call brandon Thank you. and then maybe you should pick up your first book huh the love, play. love playbook, love playbook. <laughs> all right. okay and then pick this one up too citizens the power playbook rules for independence money and success lala anthony that's thank so you dope. it's always a very, pleasure coming here and just one more time atl to, uh, friday is my book signing at barnes and noble we had a crazy turnout here in new york I want to see everybody in atl come down to support thank you man la good to see you tell me i said I will. Dude, I will. All right. Uh, we want to also thank Miguel for coming by this morning. I Definitely. Love you, All right. Miguel. And uh, Tish. Woof. La, you got to get up on Tish. It's a new artist by the name of Tish. Okay. All right. I need get, to, get I up need on to check Tish. that out. Yeah, you a music she person. Dope. All right. Okay, All right. Dope. And then and finally, man, Common is coming to town. And um, I'm going to be um, tonight, today, and um, I'm hosting a party with Adele and others. Um, and that's tonight, 7 p.m. Common will be performing um, in Harlem at Madiba. The address is 46 West 116th Street. Uh, man, I got a pair of tickets for somebody. If you can find your own transportation, uh, come up to Madiba. It's open to the public, though, if, um, if you don't get these tickets in Harlem, 46 West 116th Street. And there's two shows. One is at 7 p.m. and another is at 9 p.m. And if you want to get tickets, it's um, Miss... What is that? Miss Harlem. MissedHarlem.com. Missed, M-I-S-T, Harlem.com. All right, uh, La, thanks again for coming by. Of course. By. I'm uh, looking at the comment thing. I'm like, where's that show at? What time is that? I mean, I love I want, love you comment. Want, you want a pair of tickets, La? I, I think I'll take a pair. I know Dice would want to go. That's <laughs> Dice want to that, go? That's right I up mean, Dice's wait. alley. I would definitely, we'll definitely take a pair. So, Sway, how are people supposed to get the tickets that you're giving away? <laughs> call now. Okay, oh, call now. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 888-742-3345. La, La, La just ganked y'all tickets. La, I'm trying to get you. You better hurry up. You better hurry up and call. All right. Tracy, how can they reach you? Twitter and Instagram, all the same. At it's Tracy G, I T I S T A C Y G. And for any women out there that just feel like they're stumbling into comparison trap, go to SoundCloud.com slash She's Beating the Beast. Check out my audio vision board, Comparaholics Anonymous. Okay. Nice. Have the B. Hit me up at the happy hour, WHB and Instagram and Twitter. Also, citizens, thank you so much for all the love yesterday. You love those margaritas. You need more drink recipes. Make sure you go to the happy hour with HeatherB.com. You can reach nice. Lala directly on her social media. Yes, it's just at Lala. If you if you can't find me, then that's a problem. That's really easy. <laughs> at Lala on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I'm at Real Sway on Twitter and Instagram. It goes to SwaysUniverse.com. You can see all these lovely videos of all our great guests. Yep. And then make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, Sway's Universe. And until tomorrow, we have, well, I'll see you tonight at Madiba. Come to Harlem if you're in the tri-state area, 7 and 9 p.m. Come see Common. Till tomorrow, we have nothing left to say. It's Sway in the morning. Only from Shea 45.